What's up, AZ Football Recruiting fans? Jason Galvin here. Let's talk about the state of recruiting in the state of Arizona because it's a big issue right now for the local colleges, for Arizona State, for the University of Arizona, and not being able to keep the top prospects in the state in-house. Now, in some of the bigger states, that's not much of an issue. USC, UCLA, Stanford, Cal, they have so much to choose from in California that if they only get one guy out of the top 10, they get one guy from the 11 to 20 range, they get a couple other guys sprinkled in, those are still quality football players, but they don't have the pickings like they do in California, Texas, Florida, here in Arizona. So what they need to do, if you're Todd Graham at Arizona State and Rich Rodriguez at Arizona, is to keep the recruits local. Keep the homegrown kids in state. They've both talked about that a lot, but they've failed at it. And there's two big recruits out there that it's time to challenge if you're a Sun Devil or a Wildcat fan, Rich Rod and Todd Graham, to go after and go after hard. And I'm sure they're going after them already, but they need to find a way to keep Priest Willis, who we've already documented, number one recruit in the entire state, one of the top 150 recruits in the country, according to ESPN. Gotta find a way to keep him in state. LSU, Nebraska coming hard, USC is coming to the game late, but Arizona State hasn't been ruled out yet. There's a reason for that. Priest grew up in Tempe, goes to Marcos Deniza High School. It's less than 10 minutes from the Sun Devil campus. Priest wants to stay close to home. He's looking at the teams in Southern California, USC. He's looked at ASU. Todd Graham, you've got to find a way to keep him in state. Ten of the top commitments in the state of Arizona, eight of them aren't coming to an Arizona school right now. That is unacceptable if you are an ASU or a U of A fan. Rich Rod and Todd Graham, they talked about how much they wanted to keep these kids in state. They're not doing their jobs yet. Mike Leach, Washington State's already come in and grabbed up the number two recruit in the whole state, the top quarterback, Tyler Brugman, out of Brophy. We've already talked about Tyler Brugman on this blog. You can't let new coaching staffs come in in your own conference and pick guys out. Jim Moore and the UCLA Bruins, there's a new staff. At UCLA, that's not even the top school in their own city. They've got to deal with USC, and they've managed to come here into Arizona and pluck two big-time players away, the first of which is Jalen Ortiz out of Peoria at Centennial High School, a corner who's going to play right away for the Bruins, would have been a great fit at the University of Arizona, where we've seen them struggle all year guarding the pass. Sean Mannion and Oregon State had a career day against the Wildcats a couple weeks ago, and a game that U of A would have won if they had a corner who could shut down the opposing team's passing game. And then Kenny Lacey, the big left tackle out of Mountain Point High School in Phoenix, would have been a great fit here at ASU. ASU's got some depth issues on the offensive line. Why, why are Todd Graham and Rich Rod allowing these other schools to come in and pluck away some of our local products? They don't have the excuse of, well, those players were committed before we got here because they've committed to new coaching staffs. So what made UCLA, what made Washington State so much more appealing than ASU and U of A? That's a question both these coaches better figure out fast if they really want to stay true to their word and keep the Arizona talent in-state at the next level.